Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to SSH into Unify AP. If you're managing a network and need to dive deeper into your Unify access points, you might be wondering how to SSH into them. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to ensure that your Unify access point is either adopted or unadopted by a Unify controller, as this affects the SSH credentials you'll use. For an unadopted AP, the default username and password are usually UBNT and UBNT. To start, you'll need an SSH client. This could be the built-in SSH client in PowerShell on Windows or any other SSH client you prefer. Make sure you have the IP address of your access point, which you can find in the Devices section of your Unify controller or by checking your DHCP server. If your AP is unadopted, open your terminal and run the command SSH UBNT at AP IP address. When prompted, enter the password UBNT. If the AP has been previously adopted, you'll need to use the username and password set up in your Unify controller under System Settings, Controller Configuration, Device SSH Authentication. If you're not sure about the credentials, you might need to reset the AP. To do this, you can use the physical reset button or run the set default command via SSH. This will reset the AP to its factory settings, allowing you to use the default credentials again. Once you're logged in, you'll see a BusyBox built-in shell ash message. Here, you can perform various tasks such as upgrading the firmware by running a command like upgrade HTTPS slash dl.ul.diga slash firmware slash slash u7pgu.3.28136.1 slash qca956x.v4.2811361.28.3309.bin 28 if you need to update the firmware. For adopted APs, ensure SSH is enabled in your Unify controller. Go to Settings Site, Device Authentication, and set your SSH username and password. These are the credentials you'll use to log in via SSH. To enhance security, consider using SSH keys for passwordless authentication. Generate a key pair on your local machine with SSH Keygen TRSA 2048, then copy the public key to your AP using SSH Copy ID username at APIP address. Finally, to keep your SSH access secure, you might want to change the default SSH port from 22 to a less common port. Do this by editing the SSH configuration file on the AP and restarting the SSH service. By following these steps, you'll be able to securely and efficiently manage your Unify access points via SSH. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.